Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well. We had a pretty intense snowstorm over here. Things got a little crazy, but everything is good and under control now. So I am here today to do this reading for Divine Soulmates where there is a karmic situation involved on the masculine side. However, of course, a lot of these messages can resonate for feminines as well if you are involved in a karmic situation. So yeah, just take the messages as they apply to you. Um, I will be doing it as if it is a karmic partner, right? But of course it could be a situation or it could just be a relative or just, just about anything. So again, just take the messages as they make sense for you. But do keep in mind that because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation. And if you would like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box below this video. All right, so let's see what is going on. Let's get a few oracle cards to start off the reading and then we'll get into the tarot. All right, and we have broken heart. Okay, so the masculine is feeling very heartbroken at the moment. Um, just very torn is what I'm hearing. Very, very torn. There's a lot of pain that is coming up to the surface. I do feel like they've been in pain for a while, but I also feel like they have um, covered it up in the past with distractions or just with other things. And now this pain is resurfacing. So let's see what else. Okay, and we have karma. Oh, sorry, no, this isn't karma, but there must be a reason why I said it. This is um, number 17, which is actually story time. The bunny kind of threw me off because <laughs> there's a big bunny like this in the karma card. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this is all about the, the stories that the masculines have been telling themselves. And I feel like it's related to the broken heart because, um, like I said, it's like the distractions. Um, telling themselves stories in order to cover up the pain kind of like it's almost coming in as excuses or just telling themselves um, stories about you know whatever the case is for each of them like you know I already messed up I can't change my situation or you know this is what I truly want um, telling themselves stories in other words and that has now created a lot of heartbreak because well you know you you can't lie to yourself for too long the effects are bound to, to creep up on you. I feel like the mask ones are <clears throat> realizing that it's time to change the story that they've been telling themselves. All right, let's see what else. All right, we have guide, family, and the answer is yes. Okay. So hopefully this will clear up with the tarot, um, but there is a lot of guidance that they're getting. I'm getting that for some of them maybe, like there may they may have actually been getting some counseling or been going to some kind of a therapy here, maybe family therapy. Okay, that's just going to apply for some of them. And whatever, whatever this is, whatever this guidance is, um, it's really helping them. It's helping them to move forward and to stop telling themselves these stories that are just not true okay whatever that is for each of them now for others of them this is getting guidance from the divine right from their own intuition from their spirit team when it comes to family and what what is family right what is it that is important in family what what are the shoulds the shouldn'ts are there shoulds are there <laughs> shouldn'ts <clears throat> right what is right what is wrong and I feel like whatever whatever guidance um, is being given to them, the masculines are taking that. So whatever this karmic situation is, I do feel like for a lot of them it, um, in this particular group that we're tapping into today, it does revolve around family. All right, so it could be relatives, or it could be um, it could be a marriage, it could be children. It could even be talking about the family dynamic that they feel with their divine counterpart being guided towards that being guided towards their true family saying yes to family on a deeper level not what family is um, in terms of society or on a superficial level all right so let's get specific here let's see their energy towards their 
karmic situation. All right, we have the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so there's a lot of... Um, the, this particular masculine is feeling a sense of responsibility here, but that sense of responsibility, I feel like it's more so emotional at the moment than it is practical. And usually we get it the other way around. Um, but that's what I'm getting for this group, at least for this particular point in time. Which means that I feel like this particular masculine has realized that there is a way to figure out or resolve the practical issues, but there might be some <clears throat> emotional issues that are in the way and weighing heavy on them. So we will clarify those to get a little more detail, but let's get a few more. Let's see what's going on in their headspace and emotional space. All right, the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Knight of Cups. Interesting because we just, I just did um, a reading for the karmic relationship a few days ago. Um, but I feel like we're getting messages concerning the karmic partner in this reading as well, even though I'm, I didn't ask to look specifically into that. I feel like the... Um, Because, yeah, this is the masculine's headspace, but it's in regards to the karmic partner. So, and what I'm getting here with these two queens, um, which is more of a feminine energy, is that the masculine is actually... Oh, how do I say this? Okay. Okay, well, number one, they're seeing the karmic partner as being um, possibly a little bit, a little bit jealous, um, maybe a little bit irrational, they're, they're viewing them in that light. So I'm getting that actually it's the karmic partner who might be feeling some insecurity at the moment. And because of that, this is actually the, the karmic partner approaching the masculine as the Knight of Cups, like trying to be very sweet, trying to give them offers. Um, and I feel like that's why the masculine is having this... Um, feeling this emotional burden... It's almost like it's almost like there's like a guilt trip here that's happening. Um, definitely, the masculine is not seeing the karmic partner as as desirable at the moment. They're viewing them as undesirable, um, possibly for some of them. Like I said, there th this could be a little bit of jealousy <clears throat> um, from the karmic side, as well as some irrational behavior or irrational talk but it's 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 with the purpose of like sweet talking <laughs> sweet talking the masculine um yeah let me just get one more and we'll clarify all right temperance the six of swords in reverse and the five of wands All right, so the masculine is trying to, it's like that there's this waiting is what I'm getting here. They're trying to be patient for something here, um, but that's not really working out. It's creating a lot of tension between the two of them. It almost feels like the masculine is waiting for, for the karmic partner to be able to leave something in the past. to try to move things to a more calmer state. But it, it, it's not really happening. All right, with the Six of Swords being in reverse and then having the Five of Wands, I mean, that's not being able to leave something in the past. Things not getting more peaceful and there actually being um, arguments or tension. All right, let's clarify. 
I feel like this is going to be for a very, very specific group of you. So if it doesn't resonate um, with some of you, that's perfectly okay. Let's see that top row. Take that of wands. The two of wands in reverse. Yeah, it's like something's not resolving here, and so they, they keep carrying this, this emotional burden. But I'm also getting a sense of the masculine not wanting to, to wait around anymore for this, for this to resolve. Let's see the Queen of Cups. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, okay. We got a lot for this Queen of Cups. We have the Two of Swords, the Devil, the Nine of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We have like every queen out on the table here. Um, this Queen of Pentacles is definitely um, referring to the to the karmic partner here. There's a lot of again. There's a lot of disagreements. There's they're not able to come to some kind of um, an agreement on something, and this is creating a lot of toxicity between the two of them. And like I said, I feel like it's playing out in the way that I explained before it's playing out with the with the karmic partner being a little bit um expressing some insecurity in some way where it it might be a little bit manipulative hmm But it's like the it's like the masculine though is feeling um, feeling compassion, feeling compassion for the karmic at the moment. Um, just not. I, I almost want to say they're feeling sorry for them. Let me see a page of pentacles. The six of swords. Yeah, they're not giving to this. I feel like they're not giving to the to the situation at all um, when it comes to um, practical matters because they they just can't. They that's not why they're there. Um, there's something emotional here that needs to be resolved for sure. That has not been resolved between the two of them, and I feel like it's the attachment, the attachment that the karmic partner has towards the masculine. Because I I feel like the masculine is actually detached. From the karmic partner at the moment um not fully obviously because if they were fully detached then they it wouldn't matter that the karmic partner is attached they would still be moving away from this connection right they wouldn't be there but it's the karmic partner who is attached and it's this attachment that is making the um masculine feel compassion like you know being able to sympathize with the karmic for this and they want that to resolve Let's see the second row. I usually don't clarify all of them, but this is... I'm being called to. Let's see what's going on here. All right. Let's see for these queens. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse and the Emperor in reverse. Yeah. The masculine has not been playing their their part here in the way that they used to or in the way that the karmic would want them to. Um, they're not really serving, serving this connection and that's creating a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. Um, that is what is keeping the karmic partner also in this state of feeling insecure, of feeling like they don't know what is going on, they cannot see the situation clearly. And the masculine knows this. And this is what they are trying to, they're trying to fix it in some way. They want to get out of that Nine of Swords energy. They want the connection to be out of that Nine of Swords. They don't want anybody to be hurt, basically. So yeah, again, very specific group here. And this does make sense. I mean, considering that we have the family card, um, I don't see this particular reading being for masculines who might be like, you know, um, 
players or you know having a fling or being with somebody just because you know of sex or lust I don't see it being this type of connection here Let's see the knight of cups three of swords oh yeah see this is exactly what I'm saying this is such a big confirmation um, the fact that the karmic partner is, is um, approaching the masculine in a way where they're like trying to win them over, trying to get things to be more, you know, lovey or whatever between them, that's causing a lot of heartbreak for the masculine because they're feeling sorry for them. They, they don't want them to be hurt. Alright, so let's see the bottom row. Let's see something. Alright, we have the Seven of Cups. So there's some confusion in terms of how to how to heal this, how to bring about balance. I mean, it's there. Temperance is upright, okay? Um, so they are bringing something into balance here, especially when it comes to arguments, the tension. I feel like I'm getting with this temperance also. It's like reminding me of the Queen of Cups in the sense that they're really trying to keep the peace. They're trying. <laughs> but it's interesting because... It's almost like it's not working and I feel like they need to actually go through that to see that, you know, there's nothing they can do and really, you know, I mean, if, if the karmic partner or a person isn't willing to compromise here or to accept certain things, the masculine can't stay there forever. So I feel like there's a reason why this is this is happening. It's teaching them this lesson. That at some point, I mean, you can only do so much to help somebody else. At the end of the day, though, you know, um, if the other person doesn't want to be helped or doesn't want to accept something, you know, you got to look out for yourself first. You still have to speak your truth. You still have to do what you got to do. But for the moment, they are trying to find this middle ground or they're trying to keep the peace they're trying to bring about healing i feel for the karmic partner um almost like trying out different options different alternatives different methods of doing this but again the result is actually not what they expect so let's see six of swords and five of wands let's clarify these together Page of Pentacles in reverse again, and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, it's backfiring. They're trying to help. They're trying to assist the the um, the karmic here, as I said. But I feel like it's being met with you know a different type of a different type of behavior. Actually, this this is actually creating more tension and more insecurity for the karmic partner because they they can pick up on the vibes, you know, of why the masculine is doing this. And it's because the masculine doesn't want to be there anymore. And they want the, the um, they're trying to bring the karmic partner to some kind of a consensus, right? To consent that, you know, this just isn't working. And so that is actually aggravating um, the situation even more. Well, it is what it is, right? All right. Let's see the masculine's energy towards their feminine for this group. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Emperor in reverse, and the Ten of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Okay, so they're they're doing something here. I, I don't know if you are in contact. Some of you will be, some of you are not. But I feel like there's they're taking little steps here where it's like they're trying to at least like set the stage in some way, um, possibly doing little things to kind of maintain some kind of a connection with you something there's something here that they're doing or at the very least formulating a plan 
um, the emperor is in reverse though. They, they feel like they don't have much control over the situation with you. Ten of Swords in reverse. Not over you, of course. That's no surprise. Um, definitely, again, I feel like it's they're feeling that heartbreak. They're feeling that heartbreak and this is an ending with you that they, they just don't want to accept. So I feel like in the back of their minds, the masculine's like, no, you know, th there's no way that this is over with the feminine. They just cannot accept that idea that it's over. Let's see what else? All right, so for their headspace, we have Judgment, the Eight of Wands, and the Seven of Swords, which actually landed in reverse and then spun upright. Um, so, okay, they're having a lot of clarity and a lot of revelations when it comes to either lies. Again, I feel like the Seven of Swords is referring to those excuses, the story that they've been telling themselves, but we're also um, likely presenting it to you. Okay, because with the Eight of Wands, this is all about um, communication and possibly even actions that they've taken. So I feel like they're, um, it's like they're reevaluating certain things that they have said to you or certain actions that they have taken towards you that were either dishonest or just not, if they, if they weren't like straight out lies, they may have been like excuses or even just avoiding, avoiding how they truly feel, avoiding admitting something, um, avoiding the connection. Just being shady. So they're having major, um, I mean, and with judgment, a lot of times, you know, this can even be about remorse, feeling like they're now um, almost like being convicted of those crimes is what I'm hearing. Like paying the consequences of these actions that were, that were shady. So a lot of awareness concerning that. Um, judgment can also be about wanting forgiveness. All right, so final row here. We for emotionally, what's going on? We have the e, the magician in reverse, um, temperance in reverse, and the five of swords. Ooh. Yeah, and also having that emperor in reverse. They're not feeling very powerful at the moment when it comes to you. I don't know what it is that has happened between the two of you, um, for each of you, but they're definitely feeling less than confident um, at the moment. They feel like, I mean, honestly, they feel like they've <laughs> really messed things up. And they're feeling like they are responsible for this, that they have actually manifested their own defeat. Yeah, all right, let's clarify. I'm still getting impatience though here for something. Emotionally they're feeling impatient, but they're feeling like, like they've really messed up here with you. All right, so let's clarify that top row. All right, nine of wands in reverse, the three of wands and the eight of swords. There's some kind of a resistance here. And it does feel like there's a lot of um, procrastinating, actually, with the Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. But it's not just procrastinating. This is also um, because both the Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Wands talk about something having already been set into motion and then waiting to see the results. So, again, it feels like there is something that they're doing here, but they're doing it in a way where... There might be some resistance, but I feel like it's actually getting easier. There's something here that they are doing, that they are, I don't know what it could be. Um, it's going to be different for all of you, so I don't know if this is in terms of communication or in terms of little actions. You might know, 
but something is definitely beginning to feel a little bit easier for them when it comes to setting the stage. Whatever the case though, they are definitely not accepting that this is done. The idea that this might, that the connection with the feminine is over, that, that to them is like, just no, no, no. That's not an option. It's almost like um, they've given up on trying to on trying to get over the feminine. Like they know that that just doesn't work. That eight of swords. It's like they're they feel trapped in this connection with you. But again, they're doing something that it's something is feeling easier, and I feel like if it, what's feeling easier it could even be the acceptance of this connection that this is just what it is. There just is no getting over this. And with that Emperor in reverse, yeah, it's like, I have no control over this. I have no control over um, how I feel about this, about the feminine. Let's see the second look. The Five of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they want to fix this. They want to fix that shadiness. Um, whatever it is that wasn't honest, like I said, the excuses, the stories they were telling themselves, the stories they might have been telling you, the avoidance. They know how much conflict that caused between the two of you and that it just didn't, it didn't bring about the results, you know, that they had hoped for. So yeah, this is being able to see this. They're seeing the situation very, very clearly actually with the feminine um, because we have two different messages here which are both about them being able to see something clearly. Number one, that there is no getting over the feminine, right? This connection will always be there. And so it's, it's like it's always going to be haunting them. Um, and number two, that avoiding, trying to turn your back on what you know to be true or you know, um, being dishonest or whatever, that just doesn't bring about the results that you would want, that they would want. It just keeps them stuck. So those are two major um, things that they are accepting right now or being or able to really see very clearly. All right, so let's see this bottom row. Emotionally, they're a mess. They are a mess. The Four of Swords. Okay, at least they're healing. All right, so they are a mess. Again, it feels like they want to bring about peace. They just don't want this craziness anymore. They want to heal. They want um, their hearts to not be hurting. And they know that they are the ones who have created this pain. Let's see what else? The High Priestess in reverse. Let me get one more. The Queen of Cups. Okay, yeah, so they're definitely, um, it's like they're also understanding that they weren't following their intuition, number one, and that this has kept, this is what has kept them out of balance and not being able to heal. And there's a lot of, um, again, just like they have the Queen of Cups towards the karmic partner, we also have it here um, clarifying the Five of Swords towards towards their feminine. So they're feeling a lot of compassion at the moment for the feminine concerning any kind of deceit that has taken place. So I actually feel like they're moving from not following their intuition to actually being in touch with their intuition here. They're feeling very emotional um, in a lot of ways right now, both towards the karmic partner because, like I said, they're feeling sorry for them. Um, and then also um, emotional towards the, towards the feminine because they feel this remorse for their actions, seven of swords, five of swords, right? 
really being in tune emotionally with, with the defeat that they have caused for this connection. And the betrayal. It's like a form of betrayal here that has happened. It almost feels like um, I'm getting like a very empathic energy from the masculine at the moment. So this could be if your masculine is a very strong empath and you happen to know that this could be um, your situation. And then again, some other masculines, they're becoming more empathic. They're becoming more in tune with their empathic um, abilities. And so they're really able to empathize with both the karmic partner as well as though with their feminine, really feeling the betrayal or the pain that they have caused. Um, yeah, this reading is a little longer than I expected. Let me just get... Let's see if there's just any messages for the feminines and then we'll see. Um, we'll take a quick look what is coming up. All right, we have man holding a coin and angel of love. Yeah, okay, so this is this is just a message for you. It, it's not really your energy. This is um, telling you that the masculine actually, this is where they want to have their commitment, is with you. Because like I said before, they're not giving um, practically or, or even really being committed to the karmic partner at the moment, but they're, this energy is showing up um, for the feminine, right? And angel of love. So both, it's like they want to be there for you both in the 3D, also emotionally. All right, let's see any other messages for the feminines, about the feminines. <laughs> All right, we have contemplation mute and mask. Okay, so it could be that a lot of you are um, actually holding back, holding back a bit energetically or even in the physical from your masculine, right? Maybe not talking much, maybe not expressing yourselves much or just holding yourself back because you're thinking a lot about the situation. But I feel like with this mask card being here, yeah, it's, it definitely feels like there, there might be something that you're, you're either hiding or keeping back, holding back from. Or it could be that you're contemplating, you know, whether you should reveal something or not that might be happening for you. Or um, it could be anything. It could even be emotionally something that might be happening um, concerning your masculine. I don't really see what the, um, what the guidance is here for you. Let's see. Let's see if we can get anything. If this feels like it's you, let's see. All right, we have Six of Cups, Death, and the Five of Cups. Ooh, okay. Um, okay, so this might be um, more for those of you that are in contact or if you do have a way of, or if there is some kind of interaction between the two of you, I feel like you might be holding back from really letting the masculine know how you feel um, about this ending, about, you know, being sad about it or, you know, whatever it is. And what I'm getting is that you don't you don't have to hold back. This isn't saying to actually, you know, initiate contact, okay? That's going to be up to you. That's completely, you know, your call and what you feel guided to do. But what I am getting here is that there is no need to hold back from how you truly authentically feel if that opportunity is presented to you. Whether it be, you know, of what, you, what you're feeling about this ending or about not wanting to end or about, you know, um, still wanting this connection, whatever, whatever it is. Okay. So, just a couple cards. Let's just see. I won't clarify these. 
Let's just see what this is moving towards for the masculine towards their current situation. So this is just going to be for like the next week or so. All right, and we have the Ten of Cups in reverse together with Judgment. Okay, so again, it's like major wake-up calls. Um, Ten of Cups is also um, representative of family. And again, it's like being able to see, right? Being able to make this discernment about what is a happy family and what isn't. Or if it's not family, you know, the connection itself. Major revelations concerning this not being um, <laughs> what they signed up for, basically. This could definitely also be making a decision, making a major decision here based on this. Having to make a decision regardless of, you know, the other person consenting or not. All right, so let's see their energy towards the feminine. The Ace of Wands and the King of Wands. That's a lot of passion. That's a lot of passion. That's also action. Um, it definitely could be that there is communication um, coming up if you are not in communication because this is definitely the masculine wanting to take control and take charge. Big time. So something something might be coming up here for you. Um, if, this, if the rest of this reading was resonating for you, um, at the, if it's not going to be in the physical, at the very least, it's going to be energetic. But I have a feeling that for a lot of you, because this is very action-oriented, so I feel like um, for a lot of you, there will be some kind of movement or something that you will be able to see in terms of the Ace of Wands and King of Wands. Definitely a lot of passion showing up here. Passion and confidence. All right, so let's close this out. This was a lot longer than I expected, but I guess there were a lot of messages that wanted to come through today. All right, and we have peace. So know that peace is coming up, okay? It's definitely here. I feel like the masculines in this particular group, they're being guided towards freedom, all right? Represented by this white dove here. Freedom, liberty, being authentic, being real, moving towards what it is that makes them feel peace, which is obviously their divine feminine. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, yeah, I thank you guys so, so much for watching. Leave me a comment if this resonated, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Much love.